Hi there, this is a review for Fish Out of Water, which is an app created by Half Brick Studios, which costs a dollar and is available on the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. So let's get started. The objective of this game is to skip as many fish as you can across the water and to get as far as you can. So as you can see right here, there's six different types of fish and they all behave differently when thrown across the water. So let me show you an example. The dolphin, as you can see right here, can go pretty high, but if it hits its nose against the bottom, it's going to be slowed down. So it can get as many skips if you throw it the wrong way. The whale, on the other hand, can be thrown really high and it can still skip against the top of the water because it's really big and blubbery and it's more likely to bounce, as you can see right here. And the other thing you can do is you can give your fish boost by sliding from left to right, which makes it go slightly faster and uh, gives it a higher skip. You can see those markers, which tell us how far we went, uh, 186. And right here, this is a crab that gives you tips. And he's telling us that the weather changes every hour. And this actually affects your, your fish's skip ability, as well as distance. Uh, so this game is really interesting because a lot of things factor into uh, how far your fish can skip. Because sometimes there's going to be... Um, tsunamis, icebergs, jellyfish swarms, and really crazy stuff that you have to account for. So right now it's raining and we're gonna see how that affects the game. And in the top left you can see other people's scores that uh, they've had as they're breaking them right now. And right here our fish is done skipping. And after you've thrown three fish you're going to get a, a board of crabs to judge your your fish's throws. Now, different fish care about different stuff. For example, the orange fish cares about distance more than anything else. But the green fish, uh, he doesn't care about anything really. He just always gives good, good ratings. The blue one cares more about the skips. And the red one cares more about everything and he even cares about what the other people have said. So the red one is the hardest to please. And you can click on these crabs, find out their personalities, and you're able to tailor your skips more to what they want to see. After you're done, you can start again. You can choose your three fish, have them skip across the water. And of course, you can also complete goals in this game. There's objectives, and the more goals that you complete, the more charms you're going to unlock. And charms can be turned into power bonuses, which can be used at the beginning of a game. So once you've done good enough, you can unlock more charms, or you can also buy charms if you'd like through the in-app purchase. That's about it for this game. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.